Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. Oh, and Tuttle, sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. Oh. So he might die then. And last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay. So Malcolm caught a ship headed for. They give us month old bread. Gah, there's fucking worms in it. When Lord Whitehill is about this, we should just take what we need. I'd rather die. The Whitehill soldiers than always seem to be angry, and we have too few men to handle them. No, but Asher will. <laughs> Let's just get to the Great Hall. You know what else? No fucking wine. Well, there must be wine in the cellars. De Gaulle's locked him up tight, just like his own cunt. He has no... Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. <laughs> He's a Had a run-in with Walder Frey, did you? I should have buried him with the corpses. Forest is a real first. shame about your leg, my oh, lord. Gives a toss. What a just We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> Go round. You don't want to test me. <laughs> Is that right? Because you look pretty sad to me. Just kill him. I wonder what's weaker. Your legs? Or this house? Move now. Go on then, my lord. See, you don't. That's how we do it. Let's go. It's madness. You can't starve I them out. I will not coddle our enemies. So you'd rather they riot? Both of you, please. If they riot, we'll fight. That's foolishness. It doesn't matter what you think. It's my decision as Sentinel. My lords. Roderick. Mm. My boy. Come, join us. He looks older than you, though. Lady That's Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. <gasps> My Lord! Good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking, if you walked again at all. It was highly probable. You call this walking? I can barely <laughs> stand. Well, yeah. you're here at least. And a good thing, too. Indeed it is. 
Dali has told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim. No thanks to your sentinel. He's riling up the Whitehill soldiers. They're our bloody enemies! You'll bring Lord Whitehill down on us, you fool! My lords, please! Oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay Sir stole... Ryan. Ethan made it clear I wasn't wanted. He needed you there. Now he's dead and Ryan's a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing! I am your lord. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The Whitehills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, but we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Summon our allies, then. I'm afraid we have none left, my lord. We've heard little from the Glovers oh. since the Ironborn took Deepwood Mott. Halsey's Helliver, Grayson and Brownbarrow were all slaughtered at the Twins. And the rest of our allies are terrified of the Boltons. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, uh, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the Union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now! Oh, my betrothed is coming to Ironrath. Yes, my son. A raven arrived this morning. Lady Elena is eager to see you. If she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. I have a we feeling that I'm going to get, um, the fucking ground. Yes, murdered. this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady oh. Elena still wants to marry I have a feeling the Roderick. person's going to get murdered on it. We're talking about a marriage, not an ironwood contract. I'm certain I can convince her. She's always been fond of you. Just be careful not to push Elena too hard. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute? Let them go hungry. Yes, my lord. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss. Maester, it's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. What's that mean? Welcome back, my lord. It's got to be back. Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him and Ethan. How is your song coming? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. I can help you with it. That's all right. The last time you sang, all the dogs in the kennel started howling. <laughs> but thank you. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. Alright, so now we're going to go to the... Oh, I forgot where it is now. Yeah, we're going to go to... It's entirely ridiculous. Uh... If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. You and the children are ever in our thoughts. A lovely sentiment, Mira. I had to borrow that from father. Mine was stolen, can you imagine? 
I wonder who it was. Oh, are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. Cool. No, not cool, but yeah, we'll do. I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. How did he know she was there? What is it, Mira? It's from my mother. She asks that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah, it's my help she's after, isn't it? <laughs> Again. She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Of course. She knows you're very influential. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. You pushed me before and you saw the results. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. I'd better get going. And that Mira, is why we we'll still talk more later. One. If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter... Fortuna. Dear Lady Elena... No. Dearest Lady Elena. She took the seal with her. Luckily, it... I have this Lady Marjorie's seal. Yeah, I know. Why would you choose not to, Sula? Oh, I have a feeling this is going to backstab us. Mira, Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Elena of House Glenmore. I've never heard of the Glenmores. Oh. I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. If you don't mind. Go ahead then. Well... it's... We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with those? I've got them. I she's going to find out about the land and she's going to get mad. Bloody cold today, isn't it? Seems to keep getting colder. I say it'll be a short autumn. Oi, fuckhead! You might be new here, but you're in my spot. So move. I'm not moving. Wrong fucking answer. Most of you will be dead within the year. <sighs> Frostfinger and his bloody speeches. If you want to survive in the Night's Watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the Wall? The Wall was erected over 8,000 years ago. Shh, to defend the you'll get us in trouble. Don't be such a bootlicker. At this girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lordly. He tried to stick me with this.